My straps are ripped off. This tree right here used to be a no trespassing sign. Gone. But what did they do? Ripped down the fence. There's somebody literally walking down the path right there. Welcome back everybody, it's so good to see your face. I'm sorry we kind of went on like a like a two week streak of just not uploading a video. I just been traveling a ton. We went to Tennessee, we went to Columbus, I just got back from Florida, and now I'm here back in Ohio. So it's been a ton of crazy traveling for me. We are at the nuisance hunting property. First off, I wanna thank every single one of you who just showed so much love on my most recent hunting video. I really started putting a lot of effort into hunting videos and other outdoor content this year. The fact that I've got such good feedback on the most recent videos means so much to me. I'm taking you guys back here right now because we potentially solve the trespasser problem. If you guys watched my other video, I was having trespassers way back here on this property coming from like a baseball field park. And I tried calling the city, getting it taken care of. Everybody was like, put up no trespassing signs, so on and so forth. They they tore them all down. They just completely abused my property. It's very annoying and frustrating, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna show you guys what I did to solve this problem. So far, so good. I haven't dealt with trespassers, but at the same time, I haven't been here in like a week or two. So, well, so much for that. I was all hyped to show you guys what I did here. Oh, you mother. I've just had enough of this shit, man. I'm gonna get a trail camera and put it up, but this is why I stopped hunting back here so much. So like, this is all our property and I put up a fence right here. You guys aren't gonna be able to see it on video. I got like no trespassing sign, no trespassing sign. There is a fence up to my neck almost that we ran all the way down. It's probably very hard to see on the video, but what did they do? Rip down the fence. Hey guys, I'll be honest with you. Like I don't have the money to put up like a massive barbed wire fence. I just don't. Kids just come back here. Look at this, here's my fence. Like, how, people are just so utterly disrespectful. I mean, get, like I wanna say, oh, maybe the chance that, you know, an animal ran into it. Maybe the deer, no, like the deer didn't run into it. There was 17 lag bolts holding this whole, like somebody ripped that off. I, I just had enough, man. I'm gonna have to go get my spy camera and put it up on the tree behind here and see who's messing with my stuff. Like, this is just ridiculous. I, so, I fenced it all off, basically. From here, all the way across, all the way down there. There's a park that everybody walks down the path that connects to our property. So here's the park, right? Here's the, the bridge that goes up to the path. Here's where it comes down. This is the path that is for the park. You are allowed to take this path. You can go up to the soccer field, so be it. This right here is the path that people created for themselves it goes to our woods over here it literally <laughs> here's where they rip my fence down they rip my fence down no trespassing sign literally right there there's somebody literally walking down the path right there ridiculous all right well we're gonna go move my tree stand this tree right here used to be a no trespassing sign gone there used to be a no trespassing sign on this tree as well see the nail there's the nail with the piece of metal. Somebody ripped it off. All right, anyways, I'm not gonna let it ruin my day. We need to move a tree stand because I just don't wanna hunt back here anymore. I used to love hunting the deep woods, but people walk through here majority of the time. It's literally like, I wouldn't doubt that people come down here and mess with it. Like, my straps are ripped off it. I just don't, I don't like it anymore. So as much as I used to love this area, for all you people saying we hunt off corn, this was the area that we usually would shoot as they made their way towards the food or into the food because a lot of big bucks used to come from these deep back woods back here. But now they come from on top of the ravine in those woods, probably because it's pressured. So we're gonna go up here and take this guy down. I'm sick and tired of this stuff, so. I didn't bring my harness, I probably should be careful. This hanger is going up in the top of this tree. So we got the ladder set. I gotta go grab my harness. I shouldn't be going up there without a harness. So if I don't see anything on this upper platform, by the time I'm done with this, I'm gonna hunt. It's gonna not be a long time. I only got like an hour. I just got off of work and got finished editing and stuff with work. So I'm just struggling to do this like an hour before it gets dark, but I mean, I might as well sit until dusk since I'm out here, so.
Alrighty guys, we made it up here. Not the most official way to do things, but it's, it is what it is. We didn't really kick up any deer in this area on the way in. And, uh, you know, ideally this wasn't the exact spot I wanted to put the stand, but it works. It works. So we have exactly an hour till sun goes down. Again, typically I wouldn't sit out here after moving a stand, but I, I'm out here, so whatever. We're gonna see what happens. Alrighty, not bad. Honestly, we did a quick sit tonight. Literally spent like an hour in the stand. I know some of you guys watching this are probably like, you really just went in the woods, like took a stand down, moved it, sat and saw like that much action. Uh, honestly, I was not expecting that whatsoever. I was completely under the impression that the fact that I was back there that long and then getting in the stand, I thought like it was just gonna be too far gone, but it's rut. You, you guys saw those bucks, they were on a mission. That one buck, I tried grunting him to like get him to stop and he would just not even budge. He was just nose down on a trail like he was on a mission. So we got to grab a few things out of my garage and I'll give you guys an update on the house. Uh, for those of you who are new here, I recently bought a property not too far from where I'm at right now. We've just been remodeling the house and I've been trying to get deer to come through on that property because I do have like 40 acres back there. But uh, you know, they've been very nocturnal. So we're gonna go put corn out there set up a new trail camera and then I'll show you guys the house real quick but not a bad sit for tonight that gum alrighty so we're at the house now it's actually like two days later I believe now I'm gonna give you guys an update on what's going on with the house it, it looks like my parents are putting up Christmas lights um, didn't know to huh I don't know who put those up but all right anyways we, we work on this house periodically as you guys saw but first we got to go do some things in the back I'm sure some of you guys are wondering you know why I haven't been making hunting videos here I have been the deer have just been a little all over the place so we're gonna go put a SD card and a new trail camera we finally got our spy point back because we were having issues with it so I gotta go put that back there and I'll show you guys kind of what's going on down there and then we'll go into the actual house so if you guys are still watching the video at this point, you guys are awesome. Thank you for the support. And this is the lower part of the ravine that, you know, I threw a tree stand up here earlier in the year. And uh, I've hunted it a few times, but I've never really seen anything. There's just a massive travel area right here. I mean, deer come through it all day. I really don't want to be walking in here, but way up in this brush, there's all kinds of scrapes and things like that. Like, 
there's deer coming through here so consistently but they're like a half an hour before daylight and a half an hour after and it's rut right now like it's the prime time for deer to be traveling all day and stuff like that it just doesn't really happen in this part of the property because it's such a pinch point right so like because of the ravine and the highway over there the deer can't really cross over there so if they are going to cross the street to the woods over that way which happens a lot then they will come down my property and they'll hit this little pinch point so it's a great area for deer to feel safe and traveled they just often do it at night i've seen a few deer up at the top of the ravine if i go up to the top of the property i gotta walk through the whole bottom of the property to get up there so not the most easily accessible property i do have plenty of property back here but we're not 100 percent set up right i have a tree stand right here and i do have one at the top of the ravine but i'm trying to avoid coming back here as much as possible i don't want to put a ton of pressure on the property and you know given the time that i got the keys to the house and physically own the property it was practically hunting season so it just is what it is but i mean there's footprints everywhere there's signs of big deer they're showing up on camera we just gotta find one during the day we'll see we're gonna try and hunt this this week a little bit but no telling so all right i'm gonna put this guy in there and i'll see you guys in the house So it doesn't look like much. Clearly still do not have a kitchen. We haven't really moved on to the kitchen yet. But from when I showed you guys last, I think we painted this right here. So the half the kitchen is painted. As you guys can see, it's like a, that's what it looked like before. That's what it looks like now. We actually repainted the hallway. We still gotta do a second coat, but I wasn't in love with the color that we originally painted it. Redid all the molding. And uh, we also put new light fixtures in. The ones that were in there were atrocious. I think the bedroom I showed you guys prior, <clears throat> but here it is again. The uh, master bedroom is fully done. We got the new floors in there, the walls painted. We even got some drapes in there. So super pumped. So I'm probably gonna start moving stuff into there soon. That is going to be my bedroom. So the biggest renovation that you guys haven't seen yet is the bathroom. The bathroom is done. I love the way that the bathroom came out. We got the floors in, we got the sink in, we got a new toilet, and we got the shower. The shower is gonna be my favorite thing. I still gotta get the shower door in, but got a mirror, got the sink, got a medicine cabinet put in right here. So a few more things that we're gonna have to do here to really finish it off we're putting like an outlet in over here we gotta put the toilet paper roll on and stuff like that but for the most part the bathroom is indeed done so i'm super pumped about that i don't know if i showed you guys the deck but i actually repainted the entire deck it looks like a complete mess right now but the deck is completely repainted so nothing crazy that's about it for updates on the house we're making small progress but uh you know it will be done very soon i'm thinking like another month and i will be fully moved in for those of you who were just wondering i thought i'd show you life's been crazy it's been busy i'm gonna go ahead and put an end to this video here i know today was kind of like eh, wasn't the craziest video ever but i just wanted to keep you guys updated you know i haven't posted in quite a while it's not on purpose it's just a weird time here in ohio the deer aren't exactly cooperating the fishing sucks and uh, your boy's been busy traveling and remodeling this house right here but i want to thank you guys so much the last hunting video got so much love i just i couldn't believe it i i've been trying to really expand my content through the outdoors and it seems like it's getting a lot of love so that just means a ton to me thank you guys so much for everybody who showed love on that video and uh you know all the people that are backing me up because there's a lot of haters in that comment section which you know again doesn't bother me i find it quite funny but i love that some of you guys just love to be a backbone for me it means so much so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching if you're new here consider hitting that subscribe button i gotta get to work i gotta make some edits but if you guys want to keep up with me just follow me on instagram i post updates almost 24 7 on there so just follow me at tightline tv but other than that i'll catch you guys later